Stony Brook University is like a little, it's a mini city. There's um, all sorts of uh, building types. There's dormitories, um, lab buildings, hospital. We have a waste treatment plant. We have a cogeneration plant that generates our own electricity. Um, huge amount of energy that we consume. We consume a uh, similar amount of energy to 20,000 U.S. homes, average U.S. homes. All right, so our university has expanded over a million square feet in the past few years. And despite that, we've been able to stay relatively flat with our energy consumption. And that's thanks to like some of the smaller projects such as pipe insulation weatherization, some of the medium-sized projects such as steam trap replacements, and some of the bigger projects such as uh, installing energy efficient equipment such as condensing boilers and water heaters. Over the seven years I've dealt with Stony Brook. Um, we've had large projects we have on, on the East Campus now which is a, a tremendous, uh, tremendous boiler which is going to be about 50,000 therm saved just on that project alone and then the smaller projects and of the 75, pro the 75 projects in total, it, it's going to, it, it equates to a little less than a million therm saved. We, are, we have uh, monthly meetings with uh, National Grid. It's, uh, it's very important to keep on top of our projects that we have going on campus. Um, the campus is growing and uh, sometimes there's incentives that we could apply for that we're not aware of. Um, so keeping these monthly meetings going and having an open dialogue has been very beneficial to the university. So one of the projects we worked on was insulating uh, entire buildings within the dormitories. So we've had one dormitory building where the entire roof was insulated about 12 inches. It helps with student comfort, reducing energy consumption. One of the uh, programs that National Grid brought to our attention that we weren't aware of was uh, the direct install program. Uh, this program is um, intended to reduce therm use in buildings by putting in aerators, uh, low flow aerators. So you change from say 2.2 gallons per minute to one gallon per minute in certain areas. Uh, you put in low flow uh, spray nozzles, this would be in like a kitchen, and um, also uh, low flow shower heads. Uh, this program has been awesome, um, probably one of my favorite programs that they offer. Um, it enabled us to reduce not only therm use, but water use and reduce our sewage intake. Very beneficial to the university. So with the projects we've done, there's been a number of intangible benefits, such as student comfort within the dormitories, better airflow within the laboratory buildings, and reduced maintenance within office and classroom buildings. The incentives that we receive from National Grid, um, even, even if they're smaller for projects like uh, pipe insulation, weatherization, or a little bit larger for things like new boilers. Uh, we get to reinvest that into other projects such as um, advanced data analytics. Uh, when we have that data available to us, we're able to reduce our energy consumption even further. The relationship I have with Stony Brook is the best relationship I've ever had. And they're a model customer as far as approaching with new projects and new technologies that we're looking at.